left hand side always on the position so whenever because there could be other conditions combined with a, a hormone deficiency so when we take the pulse there's a very important trick about here but generally theoretically when the menopause comes or when it's coming and the pulse will be very stagnant the uh, uh, amplitude is very low it doesn't jump it doesn't push up so then you can tell it's uh, some kind of a uh, young deficiency kidney young that's the Chinese word for men too that means the uh, hormone is very low but there can be other conditions combined with the uh, stagnation I always use a brown crayon to crayon to to show my feelings I said like this so dead so sluggish so not jumping but whenever there's the, well, there, there's a menopause condition but there could be something else combined with it like inflammation like a fibroid like the cyst or like uh, uh, other kind of a tumor or anything it can be a lot of things combined in the uh, genital area with deficiency of a hormone so the pause be careful okay the so when you touch down this pause you might find in the beginning you might find the pulse very jumpy ooh very forceful let's say could be very forceful even a little deep then you will tell oh this is not stagnant this is not a deficiency so this is not what dr chan talked about uh, of, of this uh, menopause condition but be careful there's always something interesting in the bottom so whenever i do the pulse i do this I do three level feedings or something like this. This Chinese bagua, but it don't don't mind that. It just the this this uh, solid line means forceful. This broken lines means weak. So whenever you touch, you should feel three levels under your under your finger. So the, when you gently touch it, usually for most of people, men or women, uh, the the first one is can be very weak. Uh, so I do this. Then I push down a little bit. I might, I might find some rebound because this lady is suffering from some fibroids, some inflammation, some thickening of the uterus, the lining of the uterus, or other kind of uh, a mass or, or tumor or something. The pause can mostly is pretty, pretty forceful in the middle. So I do this. Then don't stop. If you stop there, like that might give you a wrong impression that there's a lot of heat or inflammation in the uh, ladies uh, this genital area and the, you might neglect the fact that he, she is suffering from a hormone deficiency she's suffering from an early arrived menopause so you, you should keep on pushing your finger to the bottom you might most of the time you will you might find something like this that means the pulse is very weak at the bottom and then you might want to release your fingers from the bottom let your finger release a little bit gradually a little bit then you might also again we we'll find the same a forceful pulse in the middle and then you release it more when you lift the uh, skin you might find this very weak in the surface so it becomes a sign like this you don't have to worry about the bagua stuff. It just shows the, the strong or weak by doing this. In this case, then you can definitely tell there's two at least uh, without any technical terms. You just tell them they have the inflammation somewhere there and also the weakness of the hormone. Men or women, same thing. So this could also be the uh, very weak uh, bottom. That means that definitely hormone deficiency.